Good morning, all you shrimp and shrimp ats. How you doing? This is Joe Joe Shrimp Shack. Merry pre-Christmas and everything. So, yes, I am just sitting here waiting for some more people to get in. And then I'm going to have Victoria. She's running a little bit late. So she's coming in. Uh, hey, Corey, how you doing? So I am going to be doing a drawing. So what I'm doing is if you see me kind of like going off basis, it's I'm entering people in for this drawing. Um, if you guys can like and share, I greatly appreciate it. Oh, our K O W S K I. Um, if you can like and share, I greatly appreciate it. Let me just kind of get everybody in here. So I just want to make sure. Good morning. So I'm just kind of get this in here. So let me just. I know everybody's like, whoa, everybody's coming in. Yeah, right. Just trying to get caught up before I don't get caught up. Just gonna put little abbreviations. I don't know what no people as. Good morning. I'm just writing people down, or actually typing people in. Not as I don't have spell today. Many computers. If all know, we'll see your name. Please, everybody's coming in. I'm just doing it where it's just like um, everybody does like certain time ones, but I'd rather just do everybody that kind of comes in if I can catch them. Hey, Lady Middlehead. How you doing? I'll just say hi to everybody. Good morning, Lori. Oops, I don't know how to type today. I really don't know how to type. All right, I'm going to start saying good morning to some people. I just want to make sure that they're in here, too. So I'm going to go back to the top right here. Uh, fishing Tantics, I just want to make it. Let me get my fishing. I definitely don't have. <laughs> Anyways, who all? Well, I guess it was. Uh, Max Kelly Fishkeeper, good morning. Fishing Tantics, good morning. Let's see. Bigfoot Fish Tanks, good morning. Big Shrimping, good morning. Let's see here. That's me. That's me. Fish Tropicana. Yes, we all love shrimp. All right, Corey. Good afternoon, Corey. Good morning. It's negative 14 below. So it's cold here in Minnesota. Um, Crip Keeper. Too coolie for schoolie. I'm going to go back up here and kind of scroll us back down. JD is that JD? Yeah, JD Poetic Song. Just reading all these right here. Jerome, Fish and Tantics. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure everybody. I have everybody. Let me just make sure. Yeah, Fish and Tantics. Silver Creek Aquatics. Uh, Fish Dreams. Jennifer Weaver. Dan, let me, nope, I don't have Dan here. Let me just get this one here. Dan, uh, Crypt Keeper. Hey, hey, Joe, Corey, hey, guys. Uh, my, fish, uh, my fish tank aquatics. My fish tanks, yep. Yeah. Monster Fish Galore, I said that one. Crypt Keeper, yep, Daniel Vaz. Uh, Daniel, good morning. Fish tanks, Gooly for Gooly, yep. Anything goes. I got anything goes. Lady Metalhead got you too. Good morning. Haven't seen you in a while. Haven't talked to you in a while. JD Ria. Let's just make sure I got JD. Let me just make sure it's on this one. JD. Yep. Um, Monster Fish Gal. Get you all. Get you all. Get you all. Get you all. Jennifer. Yep. 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 Just give me a second, guys. I know you guys are all saying good morning. So let me just make sure. Because I don't want to make sure I, I miss someone. So.
Trying to do the multi-screens here, trying to get everything on here. Good morning, good morning. Oh, bipolar fish keeper, he's here. Bipolar fish keeper. Boop. Scrolling down. It's easier when am I Mississippi happy? Hey Mississippi, um, we'll be doing that. Um, Aquafest April fifteenth and sixteenth. So I have to book my airline tickets. Carbon here. Good morning. Um, I have to book my tickets for that, but y'all yeah, be definitely going to that one. If everybody doesn't know, it's uh, it's down in Slidell, Louisiana. Um, April 15th and 16th, 7FD, um, the first freshwater show for, so far booked this year. Oh, I got to send one second here. I got to send someone a link. Copied. Give me one second here. I'm trying to send someone a link. Hey, Laura, I have a question for you, too. Um, um, so here's the thing. Is I added Victoria as, an, um, as a moderator on my um, stream yard. And um, I'm just trying to get this all here. Um, give me one second, guys. I know you guys are just saying good morning to everybody. I want to make sure I get everybody in here. Um, uh, but I added her, but she it's hard for her to like try and log in and stuff. So I don't know, like, if there's a way that we could, if if she knows how to Riviera, Riviera. keep in mind that that we're this drawing that I'm going to end up doing is I only can ship in the continental USA. So if you're not in the continental USA, you're going to have to let me know after when I do the drawing, I mean, good morning, Merry Christmas to everybody. I'm trying to get everybody on here. Oh my God. Giswold. I like that name. It's awesome. $202,000. Oh, Victoria, there's, here's the thing. It's like you should be able to log in because you're you're a moderator. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to try and ask some people of how you can actually. I sent the link on Facebook. Um, you should be able to go over and, and log in, you know, on that one because you have the same rights as I do. I don't know. We can talk about it later. So let me, I'm just trying to get everybody on here. So, so I sent you a link. Let me know. Okay. SKI. Some of you guys have these weird. Oh, my thing got buried. Give me one second, guys. I have to, I have to go over and my stuff's getting buried. Give me one second, guys. I know you guys are saying good morning. Let me, I'm trying to catch up on all these people like on this list here. I'm 100%. Let, let's give me one second. I'll. Uh, good morning. So you should be able to log in. Like I sent you the link on Facebook Messenger. I mean, if you're gonna want, if you're gonna want something else sent to you, you're gonna have to you give me a second because I'm like super busy trying to write this all down. I'm just trying to like see where I'm left here, Todd Bennett. This is where it's just like, I'm trying to like, I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. And the thing is, I might end up missing someone just because like, See Ray Hanson. Hey, hey, what's up, Ray? Ray's my old neighbor. Everybody, say hi.
trying to get this. Everybody's entered in here for a drawing coming up. I think I got this one. Yep, I got you. Got you, got you. Okay, I'm just okay. This one, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm left on this one right here. Yep, perfect. So let me let me get this. Uh, Victoria, I don't know if you're seeing the link or not. Like I like if, if you're trying to send me a message here, I'm not I'm not gonna see it on Facebook just because I'm busy doing this right here. So you're gonna have to shoot me a, like a text message. But if you're gonna have to shoot an email, I think it's gonna have to wait a second. She was running a little bit late, so. Oh, you're gonna hop on anyways, like Victoria. You don't have to like. I it's just I'm trying to get this entry in here, and it's it's hard to get this entry in here when I'm kind of by myself. Oh, everybody's trying to look at some information, so. Good morning, everybody. Just get, you're going to have to give me a second. I'm like, I, I'm highlighting these names to see where I'm left off. So if you're, if you would give me please a second so I can enter this all. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting really caught up really quick. So I'm just like, I can see like repeat names and stuff. I think I got Sandy Farrell. All right. Yellowstone. Yellowstone, I'm getting you. I think I'm getting everybody. So, like, I'm catching up here. Ah, oh, shit. I got another one. But you guys are trying. I'm trying to get caught up here. Victoria, I sent you the link on Facebook message. Like, I'm, I'm, I might be back up on the information. So, you guys got to give me, like, I'm trying to make sure that everybody's here. That I have everybody, so I'm I'm missing a lot of comments back and forth. Sorry, guys. There she is. Oh, dude, I'm not ready, but I'm here. That's fine. It's not, if you could talk to everybody, I can go over and keep on entering people in here. I, I have actually, to I, I need ten more minutes, but I'm gonna be on camera. I just gotta finish this part of my hair, so I'm gonna mute my microphone actually. All right, you guys can all watch. Okay, I'm going to let everybody know that if you guys see a typo in um, this drawing and stuff, not my fault. Like, I'm going to be honest. They call me a, a pecker. It's like, his I, fault. He's lying. It's all I, 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 hit the, I hit the keyboard like this. So the thing is, I'm trying not to get people duplicated, but I'm also trying to, like, a lot of people have a lot of, like, unique names, and I'm trying to, like, I think I have some of these people. Yeah, I do. Like this one. Like, lady, I just copied you. All right. Just give me a second here. I think we can all caught up. Everybody keeps on reading. All right. I got a freaky fish lady. I, I didn't. I didn't. I, I know for a fact I didn't type that one. Freaky. Freaky. Freaky fish lady. Let's, and this keyboard sucks. Fish. But we're going to be doing a few drawings. I have the in store drawing for all the customers that came into my store. And I'm going to do a viewer drawing and now i know a lot of people go um the drawing for um from a certain time to a certain time i kind of want to do anybody that was kind of in here uh facebook user good morning all my fishy peeps from nice warm sunny day here in minnesota all right if you're on if you're on twitch or if you're on facebook you have to tell me who you are so i can put you in this drawing um otherwise oh my god <gasps> i'm all caught up i'm down here perfect all right, so let me see if I can go over. I got this drawing. I I can't even tell you how many people are on this list. I think I have everybody though. Perfect. Roughly how many? Uh, well, give me one second here. I got it. I hundred percent. I spelled that wrong. I think. I just want to make sure. Uh, I just want to make sure. I think I 
typed it too fast and they know happy who it is. Happy holidays, everybody. Yes, happy holidays. So I'm going to keep it on Monster Fish Girl for Fish Dreams. Good morning. Just because, let's see here. And then I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 14, All right, I'm going to put you back on me. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I think 38. I think I got 38 people. So I'm I'm trying to get everybody all caught up right here. Yeah, Victoria. Uh, yeah, uh, Victoria is streaming live from the bathroom today. Um, you know, you do the Saturday Night Live live from New York. We're live from Victoria's bathroom right here, and we got the little puppy on the on the countertop and everything else. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I think I got everybody in here. Um, so the thing is, is like when, when we do this drawing and stuff, I'll go back over the names and stuff and make sure that we're, we have everybody. Um, but yeah, here in Minnesota, it is negative 14 degrees. Um, it kind of sucks. It really sucks really bad. It was really cold. Mm -hmm. Um, my daughter's in town. So I, my store was closed yesterday. Sorry for anybody to stop by. Um, I had to spend time with my daughter. She wanted to go shopping. She's got a new boyfriend. You're not really new. Um, I think, I don't, I don't know if he's going to cut there. I don't know if they're at the airport or anything else, but he might end up watching and stuff. She made him follow me on, on, on uh, YouTube right here. Um, this one, I didn't, let me get this name right here. Boom. Um, so ended up going over and I met him last year around Thanksgiving and he seems like a really cool guy that my daughter, um, I don't know if she loves it. Like, I don't know. Like it's, I don't want to speak for, obviously, they've been seeing each other for the 10, 11 months, so, yeah. Um, and um, went over, and I haven't seen him since then, and then we went shopping last Saturday, and um, he came out for dinner, and then I took her shopping again yesterday to get all her stuff for her. She's going for a cruise, which is super cool that, her, that his family's taking her on a cruise, but I told her, I said, I'm 100% setting the standard of her being spoiled um, for like shopping and dinners and stuff, just because I need to go over and set a standard. Um, they all seem like nice guys at the start. Yeah. She did tell them she went out and told them that I do own a wood chipper. So it's, it's one of those things where I'll do anything for my daughter. So Yeah. 100%. Um, but no, he went out to dinner with us and um, I took her shopping yesterday and then uh, um, took her out to dinner last night and dropped her off. So she's, I, I think she's actually either in flight or going to flight. She's going to Aruba for Christmas with his family. Oh, wow. That's iconic. Aruba. Yeah, 100%. So it's, I got to add this one. All right. Dude, I'm uh, so sorry that I'm sitting here doing my hair, but it was either this. Or I was gonna come in like ten minutes later, so I'd rather this. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm I'm fine with that one. I'm pretty much getting caught up on the names, all the new names that I see pop up and stuff. And then of course, when I do the drawing, guys, I will scroll back through the names and stuff um, on this. So, um, but there's a couple little topics that we want to talk about today. Oh, and please, guys, please like and follow. Um, in the description, too, I have Victoria's YouTube page. But, Victoria, where else are you on? All right. So, Victoria Lee Creates on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. Instagram, Mosh Pit H2O. Mosh Pit H2O. Did I do that right? <laughs> on, my, on Instagram, that's yours, is Mosh Pit? Yeah, on, on it, it used to be Victoria Lee Creates across the board, but then and, I got passed on Instagram. Yeah, so it. now it's Moss Pit H2O. 100%. Which I, hate. I wanted the same name, you know, cohesiveness. Oh, I'm all about that what's, what's the puppy's name? This is Tiffany, and she's throwing it back with a little 70s energy. You see it? Ooh. Remember the windbreakers back then? Yes, yes. At least for me. My, my mom used to dress me in things like this, little the full-on suits, track suits. The tracksuit, that's straight up mafia wear right there. <laughs> mafia wear. Sopranos. Hey, made in Italy. So I was shopping with my daughter yesterday. This is kind of fun. Well, it's kind of funny. I so saw I'm, that. 
I'm a very embarrassing person if, if you can kind of go figure on that one. So I was trying to embarrass her. In the, like the first day we went shopping, I was kind of embarrassing. But then the second day we went shopping, she got kind of used to it. Like I got my stepmom this. I was looking at this one cool. She built up an immune system. Oh, yeah. Um, there's this like pink plaid coat thingy bobber. And I'll, I'll see if I can find the picture and I'll show it to you. Um, and I went over and was wearing it. Let's see this one right here. So, so I was wearing it at the store, and all the people that worked there said, "Oh my God, that's your color and everything!" And I'm just like, "Oh yeah!" I walked around that store that whole entire time wearing it, you know. Um, but yeah, I was kind of embarrassing on that one. But it, it is what it is. Like, I don't care. Whatever. I love her. So that's all I gotta say. Is like. I was super embarrassing for her, and then she got kind of like used to, like what uh, my little shenanigans. Um, and then she, we were having more fun with it too. Like I was just like, oh, so the first day I was videoing every every like, like, revealing outfit. She's not really like set up like that. Oh, you know, she's nineteen, so she's not really like shows revealing stuff. But I would like, even if she didn't pick it out, I'm like, I'm a hundred percent videoing this outfit and everything else. And I was like. Let's get your pajamas. It was like the full arm, full leg pajamas and stuff. Um, but it was funny. So we're at you Salto were ready Mall. to go Amish on her, a hundred percent. So we're at Salto Mall. So Salto Salto Mall is the first mall ever in the world. It was it was built way like if you go inside of it, you can tell like it was built like early seventies. Some of the decor that's in there or whatever, whenever it, it was the indoor first indoor mall ever. Um, so we're going in there and we're buying some stuff here and there. And um, uh, went over and let me get William's eyes on here. She goes over and we're walking by Victoria's Secret. And she's kind of like, oh, yeah, when I get back, I'm going to have to go shopping here. And I'm just like, oh, 100% because I ain't taking you in there. And she's like, what? Um, and I said, no, I'm not taking you in there. I said, I don't care how much I love you. I'm not going into Victoria's Secret when... You know, you got a boyfriend, and so I'm just not going to do it. And she's just like, well, I just need some bras. I'm like, that would have a problem. Like, if you just need some bras and stuff here, I'll give you some money. Go inside. I'll wait right here. But I said, if you're trying to buy other things, like, I don't need to know. Like, and she goes, she it, it clicked in her head what I was talking about. And she, oh, no, I would never. I would, I'm like, perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Like, love you. Like, as far as I know, you ain't dating until you're 40. So, yeah. So, let's see here. I got everybody pretty much on there. Um, are you still on mute or are you back off mute, Victoria? She's just doing her hair. I wish I could do my hair like this. Just brush it down. Yeah, I'm on, you're on mute. Joe, you want to see what I almost wore today? Uh-oh. What did you uh, let, let me go find it? It's really cool. All right, I'm gonna enter liquid rock in this drawing too. But she's got a certain topic she wants to talk about today, so okay. So, yeah, I know, and I can't because my hair. I'm almost done, I've got like one more piece right here. But I was actually here, maybe you can help me because I've got like somewhere to be after this. Yeah. So, yeah. we can do the green corset, we're still serving Christmas, or we can do is that. The... What it's called is a corset, yeah, it's a corset. Oh, it's okay, well, it's my... not. It's like a mid like, corset or something. I don't my know. My daughter saw those outfits and she couldn't understand why there's that thing hanging in the front that just kind of flops. Oh, it's all stiff. It's it's wired. It's oh. metal. She would see um, it. She anyways. Would okay, anyways, go ahead. <laughs> so this is actually a beer can uh, Miller. I think it's Miller Lite. Okay. A sweater that I won at a bar last year, but it's really big and I can put it on off the shoulder. What do you guys think? I uh, are, So what do you all have to do today? I have to work, but I have to look good while I do it. I would wear it. I mean, if we're, if we're going, like, I have, I still have Manny's Christmas birthday gift from last year. Let me see if I have it. Dude, I won this at a bar. I was literally not even playing. They gave me a raffle ticket at the door, and I won it. All right, here we go. So, Miller Lite coming to you live featuring some kind of sweater drip. Should we so do it? I still, I still have this one from Manny. I don't know. Oh my God! Stop! You gotta put that on. Can you put that on right now? <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I, I mean, I I did, where did you get that? So Manny from JBJ, he's like my brother, my different mother. Um, he got it for me because he knows it's 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 kind of tight. Was well, his wife's it's picture? So good though. Oh, it's so good with the green, the Yoda. When I put You're it on, with me, I'm gonna find that. I'm gonna find that. I'm gonna I'll buy it. Him, I'll ask him where he got it. But when when I put it on, Yoda's face gets stretched, <laughs> and now he looks super. Ang Look at this. He looks he super looks angry. angry. No, he got a face left. He, got he just got a little oh, no. He didn't get a face. He didn't get a facelift. <laughs> this boy went over and had a bunch of donuts, and he freaking like. <laughs> I'll so, today. Okay, so you think sweater or corset? Let's do sweater. We're, you know, we're doing sweaters today. Let's just do this. But we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we gotta like make it sexy. So off the shoulder. I can't, yeah, I can't do that. And it's actually yeah. a three X, by the way. I got a three X. They are like, what size do you want? I'm like, three X, duh. So you can show your elbow, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I can show so I can show a little finesse. Do it. <laughs> uh it's too early. I haven't had my coffee or anything. I haven't been downstairs. Oh my so, God, yo, something happened with my purple spotted gudgeon this morning. What happened? It ate an entire rainbow, and the rainbow is bigger than the gudgeon. That's weird. It, I know, and I keep telling Jason uh, that that keeps happening, and he's like, he's like, that's weird. That's the same reaction he has. I'm like, dude, it's possible. He ate an entire school, six rainbows, thread fins, and now he's eating um, rainbow shiners. I will say, I had a feeder goldfish called this big. Okay. And I had, um, I, I, I'm going to pronounce it. I'm in a shrimp guy, so I'm not really in that much fish. I have fish. I love fish, but I, I pronounce names. The Kabuka green tetras, I think they are. And I bought 30 of oh, them. Oh, 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 Kubatai, green Kubatai. Yes. I had 30 of them and I had them in this aquarium. So I had this little feeder goldfish that someone like just didn't want it no more and brought it to my store. And he was in there kind of just cleaning up all the detritus and stuff. And I know that I know the tetras are just, they're, they're faster. So I wasn't worried about them. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I started noticing my numbers of these kubatai uh, uh, tetras disappearing. I'm like, where are they? Go? Usually, you find a dead body or you see bones and stuff. I didn't right. see it. I walked by this tank. This guy got so smart, this goldfish. He sat in the corner of the tank with his mouth shut. And when one of these little tetras swam by, he opened up his mouth and it caused like a, a, a vortex of water to go in his mouth. And I mean, isn't that sad? That's how they do things like that. He sucked him in, and then I took him out and I put him in a different tank. And I told everybody this was a sixty dollars goldfish. And they're like, "What?" And I'm like, "He ate that much fish." Dude, like, I, I woke up this morning. I look at the tank. And he's sitting there in this on top of this perch, and he never just sits still ever. Purple spotted gudgeons. If you have any, you know. And he's yeah. just sitting there, and his mouth. He looks like he has white lipstick. And I look a little closer, and it was the fin just perfectly lining his mouth. I'm like, "God damn it! You have a fish in your mouth." That's anyway, these dang little fish. I love fish to death. But dang, someone can just be buttheads, you know? He's cool. He's sweet. And I love him. So I can't get rid of him. And I'm like, what do I do? I can't get an entire 40 gallon just for you. Can't do that. I won't do it. Maybe I will. Look, I bought some coolie loaches. to. So I have one shrimp tank that has scuds in it. So I have some panda loaches in there. Uh -huh. And then I put like four coolie loaches in there, thinking that they can take out the small ones and stuff. Uh, the other day, I got a bunch of uh, ghost shrimp, and I put ghost shrimp in there. And all of a sudden, I looked yesterday because I looked at the numbers. I'm like, why do I only have, like, like 15 ghost shrimp? Like, where, where did they all go and stuff? One of those things. Well, I know, like, a coolie loach, a cool, uh, not a coolie loach, uh, a panda loach is is, uh, uh, is a herbivore. It's not an omnivore. Or it's, it's not a freaking carnivore. So it's like, okay, is my coolie loaches hunting down my ghost shrimp? I have no idea. Like, it's something. Uh -huh. Something's doing something sporadic in my tank. So, oh, um, I, I do want to say this. I got a package from Eric Lucas. He got me a little card like this. It says, "A beautiful season, a bright, happy uh, year. All, uh, all wished for you." He goes, "It's been a pleasure working with you these past few years. Happy holidays, Eric from BuyPetShrimp.com." <laughs> and then he got me. It's just jacked full of candy. Like, 100%. Like, he knows a fat boy when he sees one. Um, He's like, here's some diabetes on me. Happy holidays. Yeah, here, here's some diabetes. 
Um, but no, if everybody knows, like all the shows I go to, the person that shares a booth with me, like I share a booth with him as well, is Eric from Bypet Trump. We share a hotel room. We do everything. Um, he's another brother by different mothers. I have a lot of brothers by different mothers. I have to talk to my dad about that. Currently trying to share uh, everything with them as well. Uh, still working on it, guys. I'll let you know how it goes. I get it. Dude, it's too early. I haven't even had my milk or coffee or anything. So I took, so I got this cappuccino machine. So now I do, um, How does that go on? I do a cappuccino shot and then I have a hot cocoa cups too. And I put a hot cocoa shot in there and then I put my little, oh, no. little oh, no. milk. now my neighbor requested, um, she doesn't drink like dairy products. So she requested almond milk. So Ooh, I love almond milk. They stopped over today and they gave me some cookies because I'm a fatty like that. So um, I'll go get some almond milk probably later on today. So when she comes over, she can have one. But all right. So I do want to let people know if all my any of my listeners are watching and stuff. Christmas Eve, I'll be open 10 to 2. So I originally was going to be closed. And then I talked to Sue, and Sue said, um, uh, that he'd, he'd work here with me. So I'm going to do 10 to 2 on Saturday, which is Christmas Eve, and then closed on Christmas, and then back at – oh, Monday I'm normally closed anyways, and then back at on Tuesday and stuff. So I'll be there Tuesday. You're going to be here Tuesday? I'm kidding. I wish. I was just like, yeah. awesome. Like, I'll tell you the weather. It's going to be crappy. Oh, it's going to be cold. Dude, I wish, man. If you, were, if you were just an hour away, I would definitely see you more. Yeah, I'm like four and a half. I mean, we'll make it work because I talked to my daughter and I was like, because my daughter's in in a college just north of you. I'm not going to say it because, you know, I don't like sharing my personal, like, there's certain things I'll share, but certain things I'm trying to protect my daughter and stuff. Um, so yeah. she's north of you and um, it's not that far. So I'm trying to figure protect it out. The Delta. I like it. Um, so she's in a sorority and all the sorority people, I guess, kind of like, I went there last time. I felt kind of weird going in the sorority house and stuff. Why? I, remember, I remember going to college and everything. But your so. your daddy, your dad, like I don't. That's I remember, I remember that's when right. I was in college. When I was in college, sorority houses and stuff. You raid those sorority houses and stuff. Um, oh so I don't know. It's one of those like she's doing really good in school. I was talking about some of her grades and stuff, and some of the classes that she takes, and you know, I'm really proud of her. So yeah, keep it up. You know, if she ends up watching, keep it up. You know, that's awesome, um, dude. She is, she's a TikTok and Instagram influencer. Oh, is so, she really? Oh, I love that. I'm so into it. Uh, TikTok. Yeah, like I will send you her link later on. Um, Please, but she, I would love to see that. These, she does these TikToks, and I'm like, that took a lot of time and effort. She's like, yeah, it I kind of. I'm like, it's no, for the YouTube phase, dude. They go all in. They treat it like it's a full time job. I hundred percent. I mean, she's like, I look at him, I look at him like, that's super cool. And then she goes, yeah, I know you're on TikTok, dad. And I'm just like, yeah, mine suck. <laughs> no, dude, sometimes I spend, um, I, I'm not kidding, three hours on an edit on TikTok. Three hours. And it's like uh, literally no. like a 25 second reel. Fish and Tantics, I don't know a guy named... Gator, unless he came in here and said something else. Gator, Gator. I know I know a guy named Gator on a TV show that I'm watching. This girl's yeah. dating this guy, and he's a convict, and his name's Gator. How about that? <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I don't have a, a discount code, but I'm going to offer this discount code since I have a lot of viewers right here, and people are here right before Christmas. So um, I'll, I'll, make a, I'll make a discount code after the, fa after the fact. So on my website, like I always do – Buy five, get one free. I, I don't advertise it and stuff like this on my website because we always have DOAs and stuff. So I offer that right there. But I'm going to do a discount code for um, – uh, I, mean, I got to write down these codes so I can remember what it is. So I'm going to do a discount code for 15%. Ooh, right? I like that. I really discount like that. Code. So keep in mind, it's always buy five, get one anyway. So it's just like you're getting – so when it's buy five, get one, it ends up being 20% if you kind of look at the livestock value on it. Um, so I'm going to do a discount call for 15%. So it actually sets it at 35% off then because it's buy five, get one. So in the discount code, um, Lori's got that right there. Is I'm just going to go over and 
discount. It's going to be for a limited time, too. Otherwise, people will use it for two years. How long are we keeping that for? Um, I'm going to keep it till Christmas. Christmas? All right. I'm asking because I'm going to use it, too. So the 25th. Now keep in mind that it's it's negative 14 degrees. So even if you order something, if it's live, if it's if it's dry goods, I can ship to you. Um, if it's livestock, I cannot ship it to you until it gets warmer. And so I'm gonna take this off while I do my hair because I'm burning. I'm burning. <laughs> I'm, write, I'm, write, I'm writing this discount code. Gotta bring the world back in the, in the information discount code until December 25th. Night. Oh, I hope everybody's having a good morning, and I hope everybody's got their holiday plans like all figured out. I know I don't. Oh my God, Joe! So I got Brian a coffee machine because of you. Which coffee machine? Well, I didn't. Here's the thing: I should have collabed with you and given you a phone call before I pulled the trigger. But it was like 2 a.m. in the morning. I couldn't sleep, and I started looking. I ended up with a Keurig, but like the newer model. But that's not what I wanted. I wanted what you have, and I just couldn't remember for the life of me. It's a Keurig. Oh, it is? It's a curry cappuccino machine. Oh, damn it. I got the wrong thing. And it was it was expensive, too. But it, it doesn't have uh, cappuccino. So the curry that. cappuccino machine is $199. But if you bought, it during, Black Friday, if you bought it, it during Black Friday, it was $129. And I'll tell you this. It's freaking awesome. Don't tell me that thing about Black Friday. I'm the only one that didn't take advantage. So I mean, they offer, <laughs> like, if, you, if you're on, like, the Target Red, I mean, they give you the 5% for using theirs and stuff. So uh, I got my employees their my their gift cards. Uh, so my daughter came in. I introduced uh, my employees. I have two employees, uh, Nick and Sue, um, to their new boss. I said, "Hey guys, this is your new boss." <laughs> and she, she picked out their their gift cards and everything else. It's just one of those like I can personally go shop for them, but can you do in store gift cards there at Joe's Shrimp Shack or no? I have insert gift cards. I actually have physical no. hard gift. I don't do a piece of paper. It's a physical hard credit card type one. No, hey, um, gift card to gift card. Yep, and then like all I the care about are the funds. <laughs> yeah, and then for the for the drawings and stuff like this, I can come up with e gift cards, which is a digital okay, one, man. and then I can come up with discount codes too. So okay, that's one of the things that I really wanted to get for a lot of people because I actually happen to have friends that are in the hobby now, which is like kind of iconic. And I was thinking, you know, like. Everybody's got a different thing, a different species, a different setup. So at the end of the day, like, yeah, I've got brilliant ideas, but it's like, why don't I just get them like a gift card to my local pet store, you know, their local pet store. It's really easy. So yeah. I might end up doing that instead of going to every local pet store and like picking something out because online you can literally get anything from anywhere in the world, right? Hundred percent. So Manny from JBJ, him and I were, he and I, him and I, he and I, uh, we're talking on my way into the store. Um, are they? I also work for JBJ and I sell, t I wholesale to uh, retail stores, the JBJ generally from King products. Uh, so we were talking about the economy. So everybody knows that we're in the tip of the economy going down. Um, so when my daughter and I went shopping on Saturday at Ridgedale mall, it was kind of busy, but not so much busy. Now I live in Minnesota, so I have mall of America here. So we went yesterday to Mall of America, it was not busy at all. We went out to eat. The guy we walked in and we went to a PF Chang's because I'm trying to set the standard high for my daughter. Like when her boyfriend takes her out, you know, take her nice places. So I take her to PF Chang's and I walk in. I said, "Hey, can I get a table for two? And the guy looks at me and says, "Do you Love have a reservation?" He looks at me and says, "Do you have a reservation?" And I looked around. There's three people sitting. That's it. I said, do I need a reservation? And he goes, you don't know how busy it's going to get in five minutes. So we sat down and we ate 45 minutes. You know, we had a bunch of, you know, she's a prescatarian, so she can eat fish. She was a, she was a vegetarian ahead of time. And then while going to college, she was a prescatarian, I think it is. So she can eat fish. So it, it gives her more options in college. Um, so then all of a sudden, um, we get done eating as I'm walking out. I'm like, you know, hey, do I need to make a reservation still? Like, if there's like three people there. This is like right before, like, this shows you, like, so Saltdale's the first indoor mall in the world. And that it was dead there too. So, oh, I'm just trying to, like, there we go. Perfect. Yep. 
Um, and then we have that that discount code, which I will go over and put that back up there. Real. Um, there's the discount. I just want to show it for a couple more minutes. Um, she fell in love with the store. I think it was in country, on country, or something like this. I don't know. Let me just let me look at what my credit card said. Um, <laughs> she fell in love with the store, and if you guys have never gone over to the store for, I'm sorry, guys, gals. I'll just say gals because it's more of a gal store. Um, stuff was like 70% off and she was buying some really cute outfits and I was like super, um, happy with what she's getting and stuff. It was called dry goods. She fell in, the, in love with the store called dry goods and it's in the Midwestern area, but it had a lot. So they, how they put their stuff in their store is by colors. So you have a pink section a blue section, a green section. It was really cool because she's like, I really don't like this color. So we can stay away from that whole entire side and then go over here. Um, hey, Tyler, how you doing? Let me just put Tyler up on here because I know Tyler's here. So there we go. Now we also are going over and since Tyler's here, um, so Tyler was the founding uh, person uh, it's, 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 I'm trying to be like all super correct and everything. Uh, the, the founding person for Minnesota Planted Tanks, um, which is a planted tank group we used to get together and stuff. And then as time went by, Corona, all this other stuff, we kind of like got away from doing barbecues. So I talked to people. I talked to Tyler about revamping for the spring of doing a barbecue um, here or in Minnesota. Um, so I talked to everybody that was doing this prior, all the old admins, people that are part of it. Everybody's 100% for it. Um, so we're going to plan something. So like in the spring for having a barbecue here, which is going to be like more of a, um, a, uh, a Facebook group page neutral. So Minnesota, because we work with Minnesota Shrimp Keepers and Breeders, they can advertise however they want. Joe Shrimp Shack can advertise however he wants. Minnesota Planet Tanks can advertise whoever they want. And the more people we get, and just we had a lot of Chris Lukup came from Germany um, for our last event. We had a big barbecue at someone's house and stuff. Um, it was super cool. We had a lot of people show up. We had a lot of donations, a lot of drawings and stuff. And it's just one of those we're going to do that. Now, Tyler is also the owner of. Uh, Liquid Gardens is the fertilizer I have on my website. Great, great product out there. It's what I use in my show tanks too. So. Um, but yeah, this, the the discount code I have here will be after I'll have to make the discount code on my page as well. Actually, I can probably do this. I can actually I can do it while I'm sitting here because I can look. I'm already logged in. So do, 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 do. let me just do the discount code right now. Oh, so Joe, what are you getting yourself this Christmas? Um. Self love, self love is a thing, baby. <sighs> what am I gonna get? I got all nothing. Like I don't know. Like my daughter asked me. So my daughter got my daughter got me a. Um, so last year she got me a sweatshirt with the college name on it, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I love everything else. And then I asked for. Um, I'm doing the the the, the codes right now. Um, I asked for a hoodie this year. So, of course, she got me a hoodie, which I love. Um, and then she asked me, what else do I want? And I'm just like, um, I don't really need, like, anything, like, more. You got me what I what I wanted and stuff. So, so I've got what I need. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's it's. Well, I want to get myself something. And I think it's going to be a ring. Because I, like I like to get myself something every year. Because nobody loves you like you love you, right? What type, what type of ring? Oh, just a ring. I okay. I wasn't gonna get into details, but since you cried, um, I want it to be like aquarium, you know, themed. Okay. Something with a fish on it. Something with a plant. Uh, just because the last three years have been very um, stimulating, very, very extreme. Yep. Like everything's just changed, and it's all been because of all the stuff that I've discovered, the aquascaping and fish keeping, and. It's definitely something that's going to be with me for the rest of my life now. So I want to celebrate that this year. Because it's for uh, sure. It's been three years and it hasn't gone anywhere. It's here to stay. Discount code is live, guys, until midnight on the 25th. Discount code is Xmas. It's site-wide. 
um, on my website. I'm trying to see who else is coming in here. Okay. All right, let's get out of this bathroom because I think we're done Jovi for now. Jovi brought me here. I don't know who Jovi is. Hi, Mom. Um, if you guys are on Facebook and stuff, if you want to be entered in the con and in the draft and stuff, I need to know who who's on. Um, you know, it just says face. It, all it says is Facebook user. That's all it says. So you have to tell me who it is, and I can go over. It. Oh my God! Yes, uh, like Tyler, one hundred percent was amazing get together. Chris talked about his travels and all the different plants that he saw. Um, we had a lot of draw. Like we had a lot of drawings. We had a lot of donations. Like it was great. We're going to do Epic again. So. But I, I know, Victoria, you had something that you wanted to talk about today. You brought it up to me yesterday, and I said, perfect, let's do this. Um, what are yeah. you thinking? I'm, going, I'm, I, I'm in the bathroom, so I don't have any of my notes. I'm actually done. I'm leaving right now. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to go down. Actually, all right, guys, excuse. No, I'm going to disconnect. I'll be right back. Are right, you disconnect. I'm going to get these last people's names all punched up here. Okay. I'm going to – how do I even get out of this? Um, so what you, what you can do, let me just do this for you. Instead of disconnect, let me just do this. I'm going to remove you from the thing. You don't have to shut it off. And then when you come okay. back out, I can do it right there. There. Perfect. All right. There's that one. So I'm writing everybody's out here. Uh, I just got to get everybody's all name all popped up again. So more people came in. So out a, a U T A Y. This is a very unique in D. Anyway. So this drawing is going to be for Continental USA. So if you do win and you're not here, please let me know. And I can go over and um, do another drawing. It's I don't ship internationally. So it's just I, I you have to have an import license. I have to have an export license. It's just one of those things where it just doesn't work. Um, let me just get this right here. I just get everybody's name quick. And what's... What's the raffle for? I guess you're going to find out. That's what you're going to find out. Defreeze aquariums. I, I got you on here already. How do I enter? I, hey, Brandon, I already got you in. I literally have you just typed in right now. So you are entered into the contest. Perfect. Um, no, you didn't. You didn't miss. The, you didn't miss. I haven't done the drawing. I usually do the, my drawing short to end, so it gives everybody an opportunity. Um, on this one, I got a few different things. Um, it was hard for me to like. I didn't reach out to a lot of my uh, my sponsors. I just kind of grabbed stuff that I had in, in store here. So for the viewers giveaway, I'm going to do three drawings. Uh, for the in store, I have one drawing. Um, yeah. Yeah, please hit the thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you guys haven't seen, I do have a discount code. Let me see if I can scroll back up here. Uh, Monster, Monster Fish can learn. Is there a way that you can put my 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 website link and then uh, put the discount code or the information for the discount code for fifteen percent off? So if 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 nobody realizes, like uh, whenever you buy shrimp from me online, it's always buy five get one. So I never advertise buy five get one, but I always do. So that equals to twenty percent. I'm doing additional fifteen percent off with this discount code. Um, so oh, I got to put this one. Hey, KG, I'm going to enter you in the contest just to let you know. So anybody that ends up winning, I, they're going to have to actually message me, whether it's on here or Facebook or if you guys have my works. I mean, you can shoot me an email. It's, I mean, I'm all over the Internet here. Um, so you guys can go over and you can um, message me when you get it. Tell them we'll stop by. Tyler, Joel will stop. Oh, Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Thank you. There it is right there. So Okay, I'm back. Perfect. So here's my website right here. We're giving additional 15% off site-wide, uh, which I like. I haven't even looked at a lot of different stuff there, but it's 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 good until midnight at on the 25th. Um, so, and then keep in mind that I live in Minnesota. It is negative 14 degrees right now, so I am not shipping until it warms up, and I'll tell you this right now. Um, we have some, I think next week, according to this map and everything else, next week, it looks like I have a warm streak of 23 degrees, which would be shipping weather because I put a heat pack in there. So otherwise dry goods, I can ship at any time. Perfect. 
Yeah, yeah cool sweater. This I got this from Manny. This is my like. But here's a problem I have. So when I put it on, okay, I look kind of like bigger. Like, stop. You look great. I'm fat shaming myself. Yes, um, you are. I will say, like, when I went down to Florida to go see Will Nace, good buddy of mine, and I went swimming with the sharks, uh, National Geographic, the phot photographer for National Geographic went down there too. Now, Will let me borrow his wetsuit. Now, Will is a lot taller than me, but he's not as wide as me. So I put it on, and I, I was like, sucked it in and zipped it up. Now, if anybody has ever worn a wetsuit – Getting a wetsuit on is easy. Getting a wetsuit off is a little bit different because um, it, like, form fits. So we went swimming with the sharks. We got all seasick. It was 8 to 10 foot freaking waves and everything. We came back, and I'm trying to, you know, keep, I had a partial tear uh, in my ACL, so my leg was kind of sore from swimming around. But I'm on, the, I'm on the dock, and I'm like, help! I need help! I need help. I'm fat man in my wetsuit. I need help. And the guy came over and he taps me on the shoulder. He's like, you need to stop. I'm like, well, so what am I doing? He's like, you need to fat shame. You stop fat shaming. Like, <laughs> like, dude, it's like, I wasn't taking it personally. Like I wasn't like, my, my, like, I don't feel down. I just, I understand that I like, I am a foodie. And he's just like, like had his arm around me. Like, he's like, Joe, it's like, you don't realize that it's putting negative thoughts in your head. And like, I felt bad. I'm like, you know, but he didn't even help me get my wetsuit off though. Like, that's what I wanted to help with. So I'm over here trying to like, after he left, I'm trying to step on it, trying to step on it. Yeah, I got it off finally, but it was kind of funny. So that's so funny. You know, bucket list. I really want to try a wetsuit on just for that experience, the in and out. Oh my God. So yeah, it's, all right, I gotta put um, uh, master question. Eduardo. I'm just Eduardo. I'm just gonna put your name on there, okay? Because that's Eduardo. Way, good morning. That's just way, way too much for me to go over and um, type. I'm just gonna let you know. Uh, so, okay, so Brandon, you do not have to be present. The problem is, is I'm gonna do the drawing, and then you can rewatch the video, and then you can message me after the fact. So it's one of those things where it's just. Yeah, just 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 turn the wetsuit inside out. I find it harder to get on. I don't know. It's, I don't. I had fun with it though. I got lady in here too. So, um, can you, do you lubricate? Can you lubricate your body before you like get in? You put like I mean, in theory you could, but I don't know why you would like. I don't know like you were not gonna put KY jelly and stuff, but I mean you could splash water on it on yourself. Um, like putting it on, like putting it on is super simple. Taking off because it forms around you, and then when you jump in the water, it compresses it. So I don't know. Like I, I was able to get it off. It took a little bit, but I got it off right there. So um, I'm sorry. Let me go back up here to. I want to go back up to the. There it is. Boom. So I want to. I want to copy this too. So oh, I can't copy. Can I copy it? Oh my god! I forgot my notes. Let me grab my notes. You, you get your notes there, young lady. There, there. So I'm trying to. It's like I'm trying to get it where it can. Can I start it? I don't know what starring means, but I just start it. Um, you just started what? What did you just start? The comments. I can start. I can start the comics and stuff. Oh. All right. I'm, no. So I, what I was just thinking is, um, last night I was just doing my regular maintenance, and I started thinking, I'm like, you know what? what really cool to talk about is like gift ideas for like the uh, aquarium enthusiasts or hobbyists in your life. A very easy topic. Yeah, and 100%. I don't know, maybe some of you guys in the comments can give me some ideas, but I'm just going to roll through the small little list that I have without any details. 100%. But I was thinking, like, when I first started, like, one of the first items that I bought was, like, a rimless cube. You know, just, like, a tank. A yeah. small little tank. If you know somebody in your, you know, you have a son, a nephew, whatever, that's a really good idea. Tannins, stocking stuffer. Amazing. 100%. 100%. Aquatic plants, Anubias, Java ferns. I mean, they don't have to have like a full on planet situation. You could just get like one of those plants that drink water from the water column. I forget the name. What else? Root tabs. Who doesn't want root tabs? If you know somebody with a planet tank, get them some root tabs. Root tabs. Uh, if, they got, if they got crypts and they got swords and everything else. I mean, root tabs, don't, root tabs don't go bad. Yeah. 
Yeah. If somebody get, if somebody put like a coronator in my stocking stuffer, I would laugh. I would love, and I would be the happiest person that month because they're expensive. Yeah. These things are I'm expensive. I'm gonna tell you this: during the coronavirus, uh, Prime was super expensive. Like at the beginning, was it really? Everybody thought that Prime was like. There's certain products that. Um, um, Oh, by the way, uh, Suchi just messaged me. Suchi, I'm going to enter you in the contest, okay? Um, that is but, so sad how they hiked up something like that during the pandemic. A hundred percent. Like, they, they hiked. There are certain products that went super up. Now, another one that went up was... Oh, no, um, I don't like that. API Master Test Kits. They went up $10, and they're still... API got on that train? Wow. So, API Master Test Kits prior to COVID were $24.99. That was the cost for a retail <laughs> customer. Um, the total, the cost right now is thirty four ninety nine for them. So it went up ten dollars. So basically fifty, almost fifty percent went up. <laughs> All right, API. Well, it's the cost of shipping. So the cost of shipping yeah. went up during the pandemic. It, tw it was like twenty six. So it was seventy five hundred dollars for a container prior to COVID. During COVID, it was at twenty six thousand dollars. Now the prices of containers are dropping back down. But the problem you end up having certain companies, which it's. It, I, I don't run these companies. So certain companies have understood that the line is behind all of them. Up, <laughs> but they're not lowering the prices back down, but some companies are lowering the price back down, which is, which is super cool. So I think it's going to take some time. So yeah, I got another idea. Fish food. If you know somebody in your life that has a fish tank, it's so easy to find out what like they're just ask them. If, and if you don't know about species, be like, what kind of fish do you have in that tank? Whatever. Next time you're over there. I mean, you've got a week, literally it's more than enough time. So the chlorinators, it's like find out if they have a saltwater, freshwater tank. Yeah. Uh, tannins, if they've got a freshwater tank, get them some tannins, some leaves, some scones. But don't go outside and harvest this. Like go to go to your local pet store. And then last but not least, I already mentioned this one, but a gift card. I think that's very easy, no thought at all. You just go to your local pet store, get a gift card. I mean, preferably not Pet Smart or Petco, but if that's all you have, go do it. Either way, like there's so many ways. Anything of giving it. obvious in your life, something truly amazing that they're going to appreciate and they're going to be like, oh my God, that is so me. Joe. Oh, oh, so, oh, this is what it is. So I have another a local giveaway. So Suche is a friend of mine. He owns an ice cream shop called Ice Cream Dreams. He's I thought doing... you were pronouncing Suche wrong. Oh. <laughs> Suche. It's Actually, Suche, the French, guys. The French. Um, so he is doing a $20 gift card for for the local people, which I'm going to do the drawing after. It's ice cream, dreams, on there. So, yeah. So, by the way, you're entered into my contest, and I got him on here. So I will do his contest as well. So um, it's a 30-second delay. So I'm going to just write it on here. Got hey, Gerald. Yes. I, I, want, I would love to give away something to one of your viewers. Um, in, uh, in I don't know how we would be store, able to do that. In store or online, or viewers? Huh? Well, you for you, like here, the viewers here. Okay. Like you know how you're doing like a little giveaway. I'd like to give something away. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's like I don't have. You can do whatever giveaway you want to end up doing. Maybe we we'll just ask a question. Maybe you can come up with a question, well, and whoever I answers have, it first. I have this. Well, we could do it for a regular ones because I actually have. I'm writing down everybody's name. I'm typing everybody's name in here, and we can just okay. do it where it's it's a generator where it randomly generates the people's names and shuffles okay. them up, and it makes it a lot easier versus someone typing something that has delay if you want. So what would you okay. like to give away? Okay, so I would actually love to give away. It, wait, you just asked me what I want to give away, right? Yeah. Okay, so I would love to give away an Automizer by Altum Nature System. Um, oh, yes. I, yeah, I was dying, dying to try those. I will grab and one so people know what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I have it here somewhere. It, it's here, it. guys. He's gonna grab it. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and do a giveaway with Joe. Um, in the spirit of ha. Uh, oh, wow, I was gonna say Halloween. Oh my God, fire her. Unsubscribe like yesterday. Uh, no, but in the spirit of giving and the holidays, I would love for you guys to try the new automizers because they're actually coded. And I don't know if any of you have ever had an automizer by Ultimate Agent System, but the previous ones were just silver and they rusted. Now, this one right here comes with like a black coating. I've had it in my tank for about three months. Oh, no rust. Doing amazing. Looks just like that. 
So I actually have videos. Vanna uh, White, hey, look at you channeling Vanna White. I actually have a video. I think it's a short <laughs> I have. If not, I can do another short today. I use an automizer to pr produce the whole full. So it's automizers are basically made for like having paludariums and stuff. It keeps the plants moisture and keeps the humidity level in there. Now, if you get a small little cup, I uh, Dimax makes these little cups that go in the aquarium and you set the automizer in there. And what it does is it, you have to it draws in water that's what it does it doesn't heat up your tank it automizes it so it draws in water itemize it and then produces this giant fog across your tank so mm -hmm. these normally retail for 45 well i don't know how much you paid for yours i sell them at my store for 45.99 that's what they normally retail for um so it's, victoria's gonna do that so i'm gonna put a UNS. So I, we, 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 me, me and Joe have to come up with a question. I, I would love for him to come up with a question. And then I'm going to say one, two, three, go. And you're going to ask a question and whoever answers first. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I want to, I want to mention something really fun about the automizer. So not yeah. only does it have the fog on the top, but if you pay attention to the water, it also uh, releases all these little really microscopic bubbles everywhere. And my plants love it. If that's how they keep the moisture in there for uh for the uh for the uh really solidariums and stuff like this. Oh, I had a brain fart because I'm trying to think of a question at the same so like okay if if nobody's ever known men their brains we have to let left hem oh, hemisphere wait. and the right hemisphere. Right? I have an idea. What's that? Okay, okay. All right, you guys are not ready. Joe, I would love for you to participate in this, even though you won't win, but I want I want to see what your answer is. All right. All right. So we have a I'm question. Gonna... We have a question coming. Yes, I do. And right, I, I'm so really everybody, ready. everybody, ready hold, ready. everybody, hold your questions. So I'm going to actually write in the the chat after she writes her okay. question. Go, and that means you hurry up and write down the answer. First person that gets the answer correct is that correct? Oh uh, yes. Okay, and then they can get it. So let me write this, and then when we're ready to go, I'm just going to hit the enter button. So, what is your question? All right, guys. Name one movie in which they featured an aquarium. Ready, oh. set, go. So this is the first movie, like, or name a movie. Name a movie that features an aquarium, an aquascape, just a tank in a movie or a TV show. All right, we actually have the first person I see upon my thing. Ah, 51st dates, love it. Yes. <laughs> I remember if this one. Bigelow, yes. Kill Bill, yes. Nemo, yeah, yeah, actually, yes, yes. I was like, Nemo, no, he's in the ocean. But he did go, and he was in an enclosure for quite some time. Pulp Fiction, bingo. Deuce, Deuce Bigelow. Bigelow. I love Deuce Bigelow. That was the best one. Can you get the snails on the bottom? Okay, so who was the first one? Who was the first, the first one? one? The first one, it, it, so from what I wrote, go. On here, the first one on the notes that I see on my end, and I don't have a problem. Like I can fire up my camera. I'm not a cheater and stuff. Is Jessica Sumter? She put Finding Nemo on there. Okay, Jessica, you're the winner. I mean, if you want, if you want, if everybody thinks I'm doing like ill stuff, I can fire up the camera on here, and well, I can just do this. Hold no, 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 this is good. This is good, Joe. This I want to make this. Good. I want to make this legit. I want to make this legit. All right, so, so here I want to go down the list because this is really cool. Perfect. So we've got everybody two see, if Everybody sees right here from when I wrote the word go, she has the first one that says finding Nemo. Now no. that, that's for the UNS um, automizer, right? Yes, this is for the oh. ultimate nature systems automizer. Now, this oh, I have my paludarium. She actually lives in Minnesota here. She's actually one of my customers. So I don't have okay. a problem. I have one here. So. Okay, so how do we do this? Because I actually have a bunch in stock here too. <laughs> I was just gonna send her one of mine. Well, you, we'll you, figure you, it you, out. We'll figure it out after after the stream. So, so I, I I noticed nobody mentioned the Flintstones. Like that's one of my favorite ones, and it does feature yes. a gigantic 125, may even be a 175 gallon tank in their living room. Do you remember that? I do. <laughs> Yeah, that was one of my favorite ones as a kid, and I remember seeing that, and yeah, I remember thinking, like, if the Flint Zone's going to have it, then I can have that one day, too. Um, you know what I noticed yesterday is I went to Subway with my daughter, and they had a virtual aquarium in their store. They had a TV that had a virtual aquarium. I thought it was super cool. God, no maintenance. Love it. 100%. Like, it'd be nice if you had a remote and you could click a button and it actually feeds them, too. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, another movie. Juice Bigelow. Yeah. Juice, yeah, Juice Bigelow, one hundred percent. That that was the best one. Um, he killed that lionfish. Oh my god, I'm not saying nothing about that one, but <laughs> there's been so many movies that that had random fish aquariums. I mean, let's be Netflix. I have another one. Let's be Dahmer. honest. Let's, yeah, I was just gonna say Netflix. You know, like Dahmer, like <laughs> yeah. had, he had his he had his, hey. uh, he had his uh, betta fish and stuff. He did, and he used to put them together in a tank to watch them fight. Go figure. I mean, he would have literally gone to Akashala, probably. The butler. It's the butler. Movie. The butler. Mm. Uh, Pulp Fiction actually had an aquarium. I just said Pulp Fiction because I don't know. Like, I don't think Pulp Fiction had an aquarium. Here's what I want. Like, if you plan on tuning in every Wednesday and hanging out with us, I want you to the next time to like see an aquarium in a movie or a TV show. Write it down and let us know because I would love to put together like an entire lineup of every movie and every TV show ever made featuring an aquarium. Would love it. That'd be so iconic. Wait, all, the, all, the, all the random different scenes and stuff. Yeah, like if you spot an aquarium or something in somebody's living room in a restaurant, it's just like when they if they give it a cameo a moment, you know. Let me know. What? What was uh, um, uh, Bruce Bruce Almighty? Yes, yes, that's another one. All the fish are going back and forth. I think the uh, uh, <laughs> Sopranos had a fish tank in there too at some point. I don't think they ever featured it and stuff. Oh my god, half baked or how high? Because, uh, yeah. So if you're gonna Both go, problems. so if you're gonna go over, this is perfect right here. So if you're gonna name a movie, you have to go over and get the timestamp too. I don't mind watching the full movie, but you have to get the timestamp is usually the best part about it. Yeah, timestamp that for sure. Because nobody wants to watch an entire movie that's not good. And it might not be a good movie. I stick it through. Whether it's a good movie or not, I stick it through. Do you know what I'm holding my breath for, Joe? And I'm speaking this into existence. And I'm going to say this in every stream that I ever like come to. But somebody out there has access to these resources. But why not put together a TV show? Like all these competition shows. Like for cooking and for tattoos. But like do it for aquascaping and like... Or not even just obviously with fish giving something that has to do with aquariums. Like that would be so iconic. Like sign me up. I'm sending in my tape. Like today. So, yeah, I mean, they have they have contests for fish aquariums already. The problem you end up having is setting a standard. On TV. So well, not on TV. So that's <laughs> all about discovery and everything else. Now I know um uh Ohio Fish Rescue, Big Rich said that someone actually contacted him. This is a couple of years ago, about possibly doing this. Now um, you had tanked, you know, with Brett Raymer and stuff. Now Brett said that some that someone did reach out to him about doing a new show, um, which he kind of talked to me about, but I kind of don't want to like, like I mean, there's it's it's all about, you know, the the the, the companies, you know, Paramount and Netflix and all these kind of yeah. Things that there's money in them and stuff like this. Dude, it would be so cool. Like, but something more like the real world, or like, you know what I'm saying? Where people, a bunch of strangers, go stay in a compound, and everybody has their rooms, and then everybody sets up their own tanks, and it's just like living day to day life. Like, it could just be like a real world moment or something like that. Like, that would be so sick. The only thing I throw see in is George like, Farmer and, some, and throw yeah, in. Some, yeah, you get some of these diehard, you know, aquatic uh, people that they believe that, that their way is the only way to do it, and then they put them all in one house. Let them do oh something. Let them pipe down. I hear it. I hear it all the time. Like I try and give my advice at my store. So like when people come to my store, they kind of like want my advice on how I'm doing it. So when people come here, I try to give my advice on how I do it. There's a million ways to, to do something. Um, use people to cycle. I mean, let's, let's be honest here. People used to cycle a tank by putting fish in there, putting a guppy in there. Right. Uh -huh. People cycle the tank way back in the day by putting some pee in there. Cause pee has ammonia in there. I mean, let's be Stop honest it. here. Yeah. There's different ways like, to cycle like tanks. 100%. So I just got to teach my way. That's the first time I ever heard of that. Oh my God, you guys are savage. You didn't see a, a one in Pulp Fiction? Like I said, it was just no. so, safe as beds. 16 years, yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, it'd be a great idea and stuff. You know, Discovery, Animal Planet. It'd be Animal Planet, I think. Animal Planet, you know, if you guys have any, if you guys are watching, you can always let me know. Wink, wink. Um, I thought of it like, what was the one with. Um, was it, it was uh god i got brain farts with actors right now um it was that it was that i have a big brain fart with this actress that was a, all right so it was it was a tv show where they followed them kind of like the 24/7 uh world oh, big brother 
it kind of like Big Brother, but it was uh, the professional comedian from. Uh, Oh, what a brain fart. Too much coffee this morning. Are you um, talking about where they put in a bunch of comedians in one house? No, no, no. What? No, it's it's a it's a movie. They made this movie. It's with Ace Ventura, the actor from Ace Ventura, where I can't, I have a brain fart with his his name. Oh, um, oh, 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 oh my God. Right, you're making me forget. Wow, he's so oh, basic. I know who he is. Put, people are, people are going to go over and freaking, they're going to pop it up on here. Um. So they put a camera in there. It's all 100%. Oh, Joe, my mom's in the chat. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Yes, I, oh, I got I got everybody shooting me emails now, too. Um, hey, how you doing? Like, here, yeah, 100%. The, the, the Walking Dead had a fish tank full of heads. I remember that, too. Um, Jim Carrey. Wait, the Walking Dead did? Thank I you very remember. much. Fish and Tantics, thank you very much. Jim Carrey. So they, he did a movie where the cameras were there. It was all 100% set up and stuff. Um, and everybody's going to pop in here and, and tell me what it is. But I think that would be perfect, like... A day I, I've actually had dreams like in a day in the life of Joe Shrimp Shack where the cameras are full. Because I'm gonna be honest, like I have a lot of stuff going. Like if I told stories about what happens in my life, people would be like, I don't believe that, but it happens. Like <laughs> I've went this to like, I went to so many interesting people in this I, hobby. Here it is, right here. Perfect, perfect. Bipolar fish keeper, Jim Carrey, the Truman show. That was the mm -hmm. movie. But um, and Tammy Rose said it. Oh, Tammy's in here too. Tammy, I'm gonna put you in the con hey, in the Tammy, Good morning. Um, so for those of you that don't know, Damaris Rivera is actually my mother. She's lurking. No, she's doing more than lurking. Thanks for participating. A hundred percent. So I'm, I saw some more people. So I'm just going to put in here. So yes. I thought of like a day in the life of a fish store or like Joe Shrimp Shack. Uh, no lie. I went to Macy's a couple of years ago and I went to go buy something and I put my credit card down. And of course it says Joe Shrimp Shack. Um, the lady says, are you the Joe? Oh, I'm like, Joe, be one and only. oh my god! I think you. I think she meant like Joe's Crab Shack, but I have this is similar. It's a marketing thing. Um, I said, "Yeah, I'm the owner and stuff." And she's like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I met you!" Like it's like, yeah. did you take a picture? Please tell me you took a picture. No, I did. I was actually on a first date with someone, and I had to buy something from Macy's that day. And oh. she kind of, she kind of stood off to the side. She goes, "Really?" And I was just like. Oh, it happens all the time. Never happens. All the time. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. Oh, it happens all the time. Casual, casual. <laughs> happens all the time. But I will say this: like when now that you know my, so like if if there's an aquatic show going on and we stay in a hotel and stuff, I get a lot of people recognizing me. Um, there's been like I've went to um a hibachi place. I've been recognized. I went to GameStop. I've been recognized, which I kind of like that. And I'm not a huge yeah. Do you fan like it? it? That was my question. Or do you hate it? It does. So the guy at GameStop, I get a special discount. It's called the local hero discount. Oh my god! I, Stop it! The I local do a lot horror. of like when kids come in, I empower the kids. Like I'm always talking to kids. I get if kids are y'all need to stop, y all y all stop pumping this kid in Minnesota. He's already he's already cocking up. All about Minnesota nice. I'll tell you that right now. I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> but yes, oh, the Godfather, yes, the Godfather had one in there. I remember the Walking Dead, that was the best one with the heads. I remember that now. I wish I saw the Walking Dead one. That sounds so iconic. Oh, yeah. So I think it would be awesome for, like, the Truman Show, something like, maybe not the 24-7 one, because, like, I have a lot of, like, cool things that kind of happen to me, but then I have a lot of, like, boring stuff. Like, I live a boring life. If nobody knows, I go to the store, I work the store, and then, oh, James Bond destroys an aquarium. I remember that one, too. Um, I work the store, and then from the store, I usually go to my buddy's baseball card shop, which is another boring thing. Um, I go there, help him out, and then I usually go home. I don't have a life. I don't drink. I don't do drugs and stuff like this. It's just, it's just what I do. Joe, Joe, just for the record, doing drugs doesn't give you a life. I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. Well, the I'm thing is, like, I'm, I'm clean and sober, been clean and sober for 10 years. Um, I love it. I, although every place I go, like out of country and stuff, I buy the alcohol of that one. I just kind of collect it. It's just kind of what I do. Um, I like to have alcohol for my guests and stuff like that. Um, I'll dabble if it's a holiday, but it just doesn't have the same taste it did when I was younger. Oh, I used to have balls to the wall. I went to Germany. This is my thing. I went to Germany, and this is, if everybody looks, it says right at the bottom here, alcohol free. So this is. Oh, this you showed me this. Yep, this is gin. So this is alcohol-free gin. There's like zero percent alcohol in here. Like what does that taste like? Does it taste like gin though? I don't know. It's sealed. I don't open up my. Oh. If anybody tells from my Pokemon, I just don't open things up. I just I have this seal. I'm gonna try and find. This was a gift 
from Gabby from Dennerley when I went to Germany. Gabby got me this as a gift, knowing that I don't drink. All right, next question. If you attended an AA meeting this week, you won this giveaway. Uh oh. I'm kidding. That was too soon, right? Too rough? No. I was, was just like, what are supposed to get me over and stuff? Um, <laughs> but no, I, 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 I love everything on there. I'm trying to catch everybody's, the Truman Show, everybody's message. I'm just, I'm just reading everybody's messages they're sending me on. Uh, so anybody that has, if you've got an aquarium, you automatically do not have an, a boring life. It makes you so interesting. You're automatically exotic. Okay. So here's the thing. My daughter's boyfriend. So after dinner on Saturday, you know, she goes, Joel, dad, I want to uh, ride with you. And I'm like, okay. So I was like, let's go back to my store. He wanted to see my store. I'm like, why don't we just go now? It's like, it's only eight miles away. Um, so he came here and <laughs> he's like, oh my God. Look at your store. Oh, love. and then he came in my office and he's like, Oh my god, look at this. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, quit lying, dude. Like, you don't have to try and impress me. Like, I understand you're not into aquatics. I I, I, mean, I get that. I mean, usually you can tell when someone's into aquatics. Um, and he kind of came in there trying to impress me. And if he's watching, dude, yeah, I mean just be your be yourself. You don't have to you don't have to try and impress me and stuff like this. I mean, I was young once, I remember dating and stuff. Just be yourself, treat my daughter good. Don't hurt her. Don't hurt her feelings. Don't hurt her anything. Like 100%, I will drive across the world to to use my wood chipper. And everybody kind of knows the whole montage of, of the whole wood chipper thing. And I got friends all over the places. My arm reaches more than just Minnesota. Um, um, but just be yourself. Treat my daughter good. You know, give her what she needs and everything else. Oh, that sounds bad, too. So <laughs> I have certain yeah. friends that pick on me, too. So... Just treat her good. Don't hurt her feelings. Don't hurt, break her heart and everything else. And we're 100% fine on that one. You really want to get on the good gracious with me? So his parents live 10 miles from my store. You want to get on the good gracious of me? When you guys come to Minnesota to spend time with your family, just go up to my daughter and say, hey, let's go Let's go visit your dad, even if it's just for a co coffee. 100%. That's how you get on my good gracious to allow my daughter to come see me and stuff. I, I love it. So, I agree. I agree with that. Oh yeah, see, I'm so jealous. I want a daughter. I want a daughter before I want a son. I think it'll be a lot better. I have two daughters. I love them dearly. Um, I never had a son. So this is weird. Like I'm the only son. My dad was the only son. My grandpa. Wait, was you don't have uh, sisters or anything. I have a. I have one full sister, two do. half brothers, and two step brothers. I have like. If you want to talk about a mixed family and stuff like this, I have a super mixed family. Um, but being the only son, and my dad was the only son, my grandpa's the only son. So I am the only one that can, in theory, live on the Tyson name. And I am 45 years old. I am good on popping out any more kids. Like, I'm, I've never been married. If I get married and it's something that she wants, if that's like, hey, I need to have Did you get a baby. vasectomy? I did not get a vasectomy. I then mean, you are not good on having kids. You never know. I understand. I just kind of look at it this way. If I have a kid right now, when my kid hits 18, how old am I going to be? I know. Um, I know. I wouldn't do I, I couldn't do it. I mean, I just, I've finally been able to travel and everything else, which is super cool and everything else. My daughter loves it. That's why she's going on a cruise. So, but all right. Look, so I'm already just, struggling watching myself age. I'm going to like have a child and watch, let him watch me. Like it's super old. Like I'm just not going to do it. I can't. All right, so let's do a couple drawings. Let's do the in-person drawing first, okay? Let's do this. So anybody that has won, I do not call anybody. I don't call, okay? I tell people that they need to watch the live stream. It's on, it's on YouTube. It's <laughs> on Twitch. It's on mm -hmm. Facebook. All you have to do is watch the live stream and then message me or call. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do for uh, my buddy, Suche has a... Uh, a place called Ice Cream Dreams. So it's a he's doing a twenty uh, this ice cream. It's cold rolled. It's really good. I love it. He's doing birthday parties there. So we're gonna do the first one for that one. So I got this. Let me do this. Nothing up my sleeves. I can't stop looking at your sweater. I like it a lot. I'm gonna tell Manny he needs to watch this. Oh my God, my fish tank aquatics, Joe. I became a dad at 52. The best things happened to me. I mean, I'm, I love kids. Like everybody, like. Whenever kids are at a mall and stuff, they start staring at I'm a giant kid. But it just gets to a point where 
my past relationships with the mothers, it wasn't good. So it's just like I kind of like got scared away. Sorry, I'm gonna mix this up. The first one is for the twenty dollar gift card for ice cream dreams, and the winner behind that, and you guys, I'm not gonna call, but I got the number right here, is Harry T. Harry T. So I'm gonna put that name on here. And Harry, thing, congratulations. If Harry does not call forth on this one, I keep all the tickets and then I will redraw from those on the next live. So I'm going to write, oops, this is $20 ice cream. Perfect. All right. So the next one we're going to, let me just do this. Um, I got to write this guy's name down. Perfect. Let me just, that's for this, my online one. And then I'll go through them all right here. I just want to make sure I have all everybody on here. 62, my baby daughter's friends are going to say, oh. All right. So the next one, I have a $25 physical. Here's my physical gift cards I do. It's a physical credit card, everything on there. I have a $25 gift card right here. Because I already do specials as it is at my store. So the winner of this. I'll just. <laughs> covering up the names. Tanner Stevens. Tanner Stevens is the winner. Tanner Stevens, congratulations and happy holidays. 100%. It's the winner of that. So let me set this here. We have the winner of your automizer was Jessica. And everybody shoot me a message after after the fact. I will talk to, to Victoria about how mm -hmm. she wants to. I have an automizer here for she wants to ship it. That's completely fine. And I can get all the information on that one. Um, yeah, if you could just get her information and I can just ship it. 100%. Because right, I've got Jessica, a bunch of them here that i got to get out. Yep, yep. Uh, Jessica, if you want, go ahead and shoot me your address and stuff, and I'll forward it over. Or what you can do is you can subscribe because it's in, the, it's, in the, it's in the description. Her information for Facebook or for YouTube. Oh, yeah, there she, you go. Yep, she's also, she felt like in the dis, in the description, guys. What the <laughs> Um yeah, just You're like get my attention. If I mean, DM me on you know anywhere, TikTok, yeah, and, Facebook, and Instagram. We'll do this right here. Get a hold of me, comment. <laughs> tell tell everybody right now how yeah. they can follow you on all these social media platforms. So I post mainly on TikTok because I've given up on everything else. I've gone hacked and scammed and you name it, it's been here, baby. I'm like a, I'm like a magnet for bad things in social media. So right now we're doing TikTok, we're doing Facebook, and then we're doing YouTube, and that's it. Uh, Basically, I just post all my reels from TikTok on, on Instagram, and that's it. So you can follow me there, too. And, and what I'll do is after, after this chat, I will get – so I, I do believe TikTok doesn't have, like, a per se link that I can put in the it's description. It doesn't. So I can, like, right now, YouTube's on there, but I can put Facebook on there as well. But it's easy. Look, just Victoria Lee creates across the board on all platforms. Same name, just search it, search the hashtag. The only one that's different is Instagram. That's it. Perfect. So, all right. So now we're going to do viewer giveaway. So let me just do this. So I'm going to add this to the stream. The oh, stream people were, why you do that? People were talking about like their age and it's like somebody was like 52, somebody's having a kid at 60 something. And the thing is that I'm going to be one of you. Like uh, I have to jump through some hoops to have some kids. So I'm 33 now being 34 next, uh, next month. So I'm not gonna have kids. I'm not, so not anti-kids. I love. Don't get me wrong. I love kids. Everybody I've dated has kids. kids. I, I love kids. I spoil kids. I'm a giant kid. Like you take me to the mall. I mean, I'm 45 and I'm acting like a little kid. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like my daughter and I, we did this. It was it was a 5D immersive video is called the mining and then shark attack. And her and I, they actually spritz water. Like when it splashes in the water, it spritzes water on you. It was actually it was actually pretty cool, but I'm gonna be honest. My daughter gets motion sickness really easy. So Aww. in the mining one, the cart was going like this, and she was getting motion sickness. I was like, oh my god, my daughter's gonna puke on me, uh, but she didn't. Um, but it was a cool, unique, immersive 5D thing. Do I think it could have been better? 100, percent but this is like the first time they've done that. So all right, so goodbye, Dan. So I'm gonna actually draw a line. So if everybody can hold off on their comments right now. So I'm going to draw kind of a line right here on my comments because if I'm missing someone, I want you guys to go over and put the name on there. Mm -hmm. And there it is uh, to put it on there. So let me just go on here and I'm going to kind of like 
scroll up on the names. Oops, I got to go to my... Here it is. I got to find my screen right here. So this is ever since we started this live. So I'm going to name off the names. And if you're not on here, please <laughs> write it on there. I can put it on here. So you got Rainbow Valley Fish maybe. Keeper, Fishing Tantics. We have Bigfoot Fish Tanks, Big Shrimpin, Fish Tropic Canada, Corey Burkowski. We have Crypt Keeper, Too Cooley for Schooly, JD Ria, Poetic Song, Jerome, um, Silver Creek, Fish Dreams, Jennifer Weaver, My Fish Tanks, Daniel Velez, Anything Goes, Lady Metalhead, oh, head, it's supposed to be, Monster Fish Gale, Dan Loomis, Brandon Hasford, Bipolar Fish Keeper, Mississippi Hippie, Carbon 7FD, Demaris uh, Riviera, uh, Ritesh, my mother. The, uh, Ritesh Shah Shahi, Giswold 2000, Todd Bennett, uh, Bennett uh, Ray Hansen, Vanowski, Fish, the, uh, I think it's supposed to be defensive. I was typing really fast, so you know we know who it is. Uh, Lady Roche, uh, New Local Austin, Sandy, Yellowstone, Shane, William I, Freak Fish Lady, Freaky, it's supposed to be Freaky Fish Lady, Yelp. Uh, Yelp, Mad Bro, uh, Zandu, um, Thorax, the Nano Aquarium Guy, Allison, William I, Liquid Rock. Yep, I'm in Tyler, David Roy, out of uh, Ola Angie. I mean, if you don't see your name when I get to the bottom, let me know when I can type it up. Brandon, uh, Eduardo, Suche, Didi's in here, Yellowstone, Jessica Sumpner, Tammy Rose, Anything Goes, uh, Already Angry. Did I put Tammy it on? Oh, let me let me up. Nope. So his name is in here twice. I gotta take this out. All right. So if, you do not, so if you do not, only if the people don't see their name, which I have another one here. We have S Spaghetti. It's kind of like spaghetti. I like that. Spaghetti. G H E T T I N O N E. So I was trying to like get everybody in here as, as quick as I possibly could text and stuff like this. Oh God, I forgot to turn on my tanks. So, all right, uh, Jessica, if you can, here's the information. If not, message me your, your mailing address and she can get it right here. So we got mini old for forest. Oh, that's a cute name. Let me just put that one in here too. So give me a second here. Oh, Laura Wood. Hi, Laura. So Laura Wood, I actually just thought uh, she won a giveaway. Um, on my social media platforms, and she won an entire aquascape. A whole one? Like, yeah, an entire aquascape. It was a 10-gallon rimless cube, uh, came stocked with 14 neon greens and a few shrimps, and very you know heavily planted, so she's going to have a forest. Uh, I made sure that I planted it really nice and low, so like she gets to experience it blow up. So Laura, I'm telling you, you are not ready for the transformation that your tank is going to go under in the next few months. Um, it, it should be fun. Yep. So, okay, Yellowstone's in here twice. Thank you for being 100% honest. I appreciate you. So, I'm going to take this one out. So, he was in there twice. I'm curious. Um, when we're done with this, Laura, I want to ask you something about the your fish keeping journey. Perfect. Yep. Yep. Uh, Crypt Keeper's in there as well. Yes. Everybody's in there. So, how I do this is so I mix it up a couple times. And then what we're going to do is I'll have my lovely little co-host pick a number. So she's going to end up picking a number, 1 through 10 or whatever else. I'm going to hit all the – because if you look at it, it actually tells me how many times it gets mixed up. So we'll okay. do we'll do your your whatever number is and whatever it lands on that very From last one. From number to what number? What, what's my uh, – what we'll, are my – We'll words? do 10. We'll do, we'll do 10. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got – Gotta okay, use YouTube. I'm banned on Facebook, so I couldn't. You're banned on Facebook already? Me? Oh, no, not you. Tammy. Oh my god, I can't catch a break. Jeez. Tammy. Tammy, um, what are you doing now? Are you in Facebook jail? Tammy, so, you better be doing too much. See, that's why we're uh, friends, because she does too much. So I'm gonna do a $25. So I'm gonna do a $25, $25. No, you know what? I'm gonna do a fifty. I'm gonna do a fifty dollar. I'm, I'm doing a fifty dollar because there's a discount code. I mean, this is a fifty dollar gift card for the website, which I'll come up with. Whoever messaged me, I'll just come up with the code for it, and they can use the code on there. Mm -hmm. So that's the first one, and then the second one, I will do a twenty five dollar. So it's gonna go first, second, and third. So we'll do a twenty five dollar gift card plus plus. 
Denerly has their fertilizer, their all-in-one fertilizer, plus they'll do a back to elixir. So I'm going to put Denerly stuff. D and then they, I didn't ask them. I just kind of do this. They, I just tell them after the fact, and like, okay. All right. And then third, so we got first, we got second, and we have third. The third one, we're going to do a $15, a $15 gift card plus um, – my friend Danny made these super awesome little Christmas ornaments. Oh my gosh. Yes, they're so cute. My favorite is the green and the red one with the yep. outline. So and you can choose whatever color. I have green, red, yellow. I mean I can blue I can get whatever color you want. I just grabbed the first one that I saw right here. Oh, that's yellow? Nice. Okay, I actually like that. And yellow. So I got that. So I got first, second, and third. I mean just make sure it's so um so Barbara Jackson's in here now, so I'm gonna put Barbara's name in here too. Okay. Who do I feed? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, I'm going to write, let's fucking get in here. Oh, Luke is in here too. So give me one second. I see Luke's name right Luke's right here. Boom. I'll get Luke's name on here. Luke Skywalker in the house. Dorn, Luke, Luke Dornbush. Oh. All right. So then now I'm going to write on here. Did you see I my name? My Everyone's like, did you see my name? Who is my name? Like you have to tell me, like Facebook users, <laughs> you have to tell me who you are, because otherwise I'm going to put Facebook user and everybody's going to say that's me. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to write closed on here, um, unless the Facebook user goes over and tells me who they are. Facebook user, you got to tell me who you are, and I'll have to tell you. Jessica, you? Yeah, did you enter? Yeah, Jessica, you're in there, 100. percent I've got my number ready to roll. I'll show you right here, Jessica, right here. You see your name? You're right there. So, all right. I have it closed with that many people in there. We have 54 viewers. Thank you, guys. I love you all for doing that. I did close. Let me just go back down here. It's all closed. I hit the word closed. Everybody sees it right here. It's closed. Oh, my God, Joe. I have to pick a new number. I just showed the entire world the number that I picked. So, here's the thing. It's like it randomizes. So, once again, this is for three drawings. First, second, and third. So, so Victoria Lee Creates is going to come up with a number. Okay, I'm going to hit the random button. If she's, I'm going to do a random, like, I'm going to, the number's one through 10. So I'm going to say 25. If she okay. says 25, I'm going to hit the randomizer 24 times, and I'll count it out loud. And on the 25th time, it's going to place it one, two, and three. So it's going to be the top names on the list here, and that's going to be the winners on there. So random.org is 100% legit. It's a paid subscription. There's no okie doke funny business and stuff like this. It's always 100% legal. This is what I use on my Facebook page. So, all right. What is your number? 87. I said one out of 10. I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, it's a lot to be pushing. Okay? <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So listen, I'm going to give you guys a little hint. Watch my hand when I write it down. All right. I want to say I'm going to write it down before I say it. All right. All right, I wrote it down. Did you see that? All right, here we go. Tell me when to reveal it. You reveal it. Send it. Oh. Okay, I can't. Oh, I can't see that. Oh, eight. Is that what it is? So she yeah. picked eight. So I'm gonna write this in the comment. She eight. picked. I'm just gonna write this in the comments. So everybody knows I'm doing legit and stuff. All right. So let me just write this right here. She picked eight. Let me go. She picked eight. There it is. She picked eight. So I'm going to mix it seven times. So if everybody kind of watches the whole, you see my mouse right here? Y'all see it right here? So here's the first time. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, I see what you're doing. Five. five six. Six. Seven. So this is the seventh time. So if everybody knows, random, so it's, know. been mixed, it's been mixed Eight. seven times. It has a time stamp on there to make this legit. All right. So if I hit it one more time, it's going to come up with it. So it's for three things. So the first one is that $50 gift card to Joe Shrimp Shack. The second one is a $25 gift card plus the Dennerly Elixir. The all-in-one elixir is a fertilizer plus their Bacto Elixir, bacteria for starting a new tank. And the third one is for $15 and the ornament. Now, to receive the stuff, you have to 
message me or you can message Victoria if you're on her platform. You're just watching this one right here. But please like and subscribe to both channels. So you guys ready? Boom. There is the top three right there. Ray Hansen, Ritesh Shani, and Zandu. So if you're watching right now, if you are not in America, I am sorry. It's for the kind of uh, – kind of, well, I can ship to Hawaii. It's just get super expensive. Um, it's for the United States. So if you guys are not in the United States, please – let me know now, and I'm going to go down here. I'm going to take actually a picture, and we'll just kind of, like, go through us. So, Dude, my doorbell just rang. This is to show you, if you come to my house unannounced, I will not answer because I'm 9 out of 10 busy. Yes. <laughs> like, I'm busy right now. Like, I cannot go answer the door. I won't. I won't do it. Perfect. I didn't even – I was not expecting anybody. What a guess. All right. So, oh, so, all right. So, Ritesh says he's outside the USA. It's just one of those things where I don't have an export license, so I can't. I thought he was going to say he was outside my house. I was like, hey. So, so Ritesh didn't – couldn't do it. So, Griswold – I'm sorry. So, Ritesh was second. So, we got – I'm going to write these down here. So, we have Ray Hansen. The second one then drops down to the – down over, so Zandu got second, unless Zan Zanadu do isn't in America here. And third would be Giswold. Giswold two thousand. So here, I want to make sure that people are messaging if they if they're here or not. So please, if you're watching, I took I took a picture of all these. Let me just kind of show everybody here. So I did take a picture of all the names that are on the list here. So it just kind of like moves downwards on there. So if the people are not present and they're going to watch it later on, if you're not in the continental United States, please message me and it, it drops down. So we have Ray Hansen for first, Zan Xanadu for second, and Giswold 2000 for third. If they're not down there, I just go down to the next name going down. It's, it makes it, it makes everything a hundred percent even for everybody else i will come up with the discount code once these guys contact me on that one harry t got harry t got the 20 dollar gift card for um uh um oh, hey joe uh, i got a brain fart yeah um do you think that like there's possibly someone in illinois here in the chat watching because like we could do one more giveaway i have some plants that i could give away but i can't ship these like they have to like go to somebody locally so we could do some do this? If, if you're if you're in Ill illinois please just make a comment right now if you're in illinois number from one to ten make it simple yeah it's just it, it just write a number if you're in Illinois, just go and say here, and then we know how many people are in Illinois. But Harry T won the $20, $20 gift card for Ice Cream Dreams. Jessica won the Automizer, which I have to get our information. So then yes. uh, Victoria can send off. And then we had the um, the $25 gift card. Where did I put my gift card? Here. It was Tanner. So then Tanner won the $25 gift. I have to keep all these things in order. My right, the reason I just want to like, I want to mention too, I know we're like crazy giving a lot of stuff away, but it's like it's Christmas. It's Christmas week. It's our Christmas like holiday like stream, if you will. So that's one of the reasons why I'm personally on fire right now, but yeah, all right, we so. have, so what it seems like is we have two people from I'm, I'm flipping the names. We have my fish, uh, my fish tank aquatics is in Illinois, and we have Laura Wood in Illinois as well. Okay, awesome, awesome. So here's um, Laura. I don't know if you want to enter this one. You can. Um, let me explain. So, I personally don't do terrariums. Um, I did get a shipment of terrarium plants, or no, 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 not terrarium plants. Oh, what? Yeah, terrarium plants. Okay, so this is also by Nature Ultim System right here. They obviously don't make plants, but guys, guys, shh, Gollum. Gollum? <laughs> Gollum. I think there's someone at the door, but I can't. It's so far away, I can't hear it. Anyways, Gollum, Tippy. Sorry, Eduardo. It's for people that live in Illinois. I know your yeah, friend lives there, but it's we got to make it fair because I know people that live in Illinois too. We have to be fair. So we had two people reach out. My fish tank aquatics, Laura Wood. Now, 
Now, okay. Victoria's talking to Laura Wood right now about the possible wedding. Go on. Yeah, so so right here in front of us, we have, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the. Do you mind if I rant a little bit about what it is? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so these are actually Borneo ferns from the islands of Borneo, or Borneo, I'm pronouncing it wrong, uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, it's one of the biggest islands, and these right here are if you have a terrarium, kind of like frogs, dart frogs, this, that, you know, just an enclosed situation. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, five ferns. These are Borneo ferns. Look them up. They like no, extreme moisture, guys. and they like to be enclosed. You can't just plop this and then leave it open. It'll dry and shrivel away. Oh, yep. So 100%, if, if nobody ever knows, like, every once in a while, one of the big major chain stores, they will sell plants there. Um, Silver plant is the biggest one that they end up selling. Um, and it, if it's not an aquatic plant, it may look cool in your tank for a little bit, but then it will die out. There's no... Yeah, and it doesn't come back. Some things have been able to transition over, and we know which ones transition over. But some that are their ancestors that are made for palladiums, certain ones will not transition over. So this will be on this one. So I'm going to pull one out that I've got open over there, but this is completely closed. If you're in Chicago, Illinois, definitely enter this giveaway. You're getting four, five Borneo ferns, and each one retails for twenty four dollars. So it's a pretty awesome, you know, little six pack you got here. Liz, you have Tammy. She would please knock on your door. Uh, uh, oh and God, we have God. Publishers Clearinghouse is at the door. You're going to lose a million dollars by not answering. Oh. Go away, Tammy. Go away, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> it, it seems like from what I'm reading on the messages, the only people that were in actually Illinois. I understand if you have friends in Illinois and you can always pick up the stuff. But here's the thing. We have to make this fair. The fair way is... She did say if you live here here in Illinois. Okay. So my fish, we, uh, my fish tank aquatics and Laura Wood. So it's between you two. Are any of you guys gonna do a um in 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 is it's for a paladarium here, style? I have a better idea. You do it, it's your drug. Since there's only two people. There's only two people. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I know that this isn't uh, suited for Laura's setups and what she has, so Laura automatically does not get this one. Because of that, no, no, but because of that, I'm going to specifically do a giveaway, but you both win. Uh, so Liquid Aquatics, you get these. And then, Laura, I'm going to have to give you something that's more friendly not to work liquid, with. Not liquid, it's My Fish Tanks Aquatics. Oh, My Fish Tank Aquatics. Sorry. So My Fish Tank Aquatics, uh, the Borneo ferns are yours. And then, Laura, oh, I'm going to give you some normal have, aquatics. Have terrarium too. You see what happens when you start doing specific things? If you do specific ah, things, a lot of people here have aqu aquatic stuff. So he, okay, does my have, he does not have a terrarium as well. Okay. So, so, how about we do this? Because they're going to die. If you don't have a setup, they will die really fast. Yeah. And the thing is, we got cold weather in, in Chicago and everything else. How about we do this? Let's just do this. Anybody in the chat here? Listen to me. Hold on. Don't be freaking saying me, 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 me. <laughs> Anybody in the in the chat here has a terrarium and could use these plants. Okay. I will pay for the shipping to hurry up and get them priority. But here's the thing. If they die upon transit because the weather sucks here, it's like super cold. We are not liable. We're not going to resend. If anybody have, oh, look, it's Bob. Hey, Bob. If anybody here has a terrarium that could use these plants, please speak up right now. The first person to say, I do, and they're in the continental United States. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Like this? Just popping in for a second. Yeah. <laughs> this is the reason why the dogs are going crazy. Oh. All right. Perfect. Perfect. I have Big Shrimp and says he has a terrarium. Big oh, Shrimp. Fantastic. Where are you located at, Big Shrimpin'? Oh, you're gonna love these. These are so special, so beautiful. It was the first. Per it's the first person I saw. Big Shrimpin', I need to know where you're at because you have to message Victoria like ASAP, and then I will I will just send her money, whatever to ship it, whatever. I really don't care. Um, Yo, you have to you have to explain to me what I have to do, where I have to go to send it. I've never sent anything out, so okay. you you just help me do it, and I will do it. Yep, not a problem. So, Big Shrimp, and where are you? You got you got to say where you're at. I know there's a question ahead of time. Big Shrimp um, and a B U L. You know that one song? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, Brian, we gave away an itemizer. Oh, nice. And Joe gave away a bunch of stuff. It's Christmas. We got to give, give, oh, give. Yeah. So big shrimping is in Maryland. So you Maryland is my neighbors this year. I'm giving them a hard time. All right. So do you have blown insulation? <laughs> Victoria, do you have blown insulation or any insulation or anything else like this? Um. Uh, well, yeah, I, I can package. All right. I can, okay. I can so a little cooler you're gonna package it, and then of course, because Maryland's cold out there, do you have a heat pack? I do have heat pack. So, put right. a heat so pack what in. you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna wrap the heat pack in a piece of paper, have the the red line facing upwards, and you're gonna put it in a priority mailbox. It's the packet, so, so it sits well Ooh, in there. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, priority mailbox. Yep. Okay. I would do like all that stuff will fit into a, a small priority mailbox. So put the insulation in the bottom, put priority, that in there, pack, yep, pack more insulation, put the heat pack up top, um, ship it priority pack. mail, yep, ship it priority mail, and I will pay for that one. I So um, Big Shrimpin', message me, and then I can print off a, because you have a printer, right? Victoria. Huh? You have a printer, right? <laughs> Sorry, I was reading. Uh, yeah, I do have a printer. So you have two choices. You can either A, <laughs> um, print your own shipping label, and I can refund the money to you, or I can print it, and I can email it to you. But uh, Big Shrimp, and I need you to shoot me your address, um, and then I can get it over to her. So Big Shrimp, I'm actually going to throw in a bonus for you, just because oh I'm excited about this. He's having this is, this is Bob. Bob is having White Castle for brunch. I like White Castle. Who, who's Bob? Big Shrimp and his Bob? No, no, that's my friend Bob. Oh, hello, Bob. I love White Castle. I always buy the same thing. Keep in mind, the more stuff you add, the bigger the box has got to be. It's just one plant. All right, just so one, one plant, plant, yeah, will fit in that box 100%. Yeah, this is another really nice one. I'll put the name in there for you. I can't pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. But this gets very big, very beautiful. It has a, a moss look, but in a tree form with a, a nice, like, you know, stiff uh, stem, if you will. Anyways, I'm going to throw one of these in there for you. So big shrimp, um, big shrimp. There you go. Big shrimping. There's the email right there. You need to email VictoriaLeeCreates at gmail.com. Yes. And she will, get that out, she will get that out to you. And it's it's best to go over, like, if you go over and you get these packages, it's best to do, like, an unboxing or a video or something like this and then send it. And then we can always utilize it. And we can actually show what people get in there. Yeah. Um, make sure that you uh, send me that today, the address and whatever, because I'm going to do this today. Yep. So, today. Big Shrimpin', I'm going to let you know this. If you do not message, today is uh, 1221. You need to go by the end of business day today um, to go over and message Victoria so she can get it shipped out. Because we want to make <laughs> sure. We're going to auction it all away. <laughs> so anybody that is one on mine, I need you to send me a message either on Facebook Text message because I mean you can literally look up Joe Shrimp Shack and the in my numbers right there. Joe Shrimp Shack, I love the sound of it. Uh, Joe Shrimp Shack uh, at gmail.com or on Facebook Messenger, and I will produce a code for you for my website on this. For the in person one, y'all need to show up for the in person one, but at least message me. And then here's the discount code for the for the other viewers that are on here for fifteen percent off. Good till December twenty fifth at midnight. I'm going to get rid of this thing right here. If I need anybody to stop else... looking around. I need to stop looking around because I keep looking for things to give away. I'm like, <laughs> there's so if many products in front of me. If anybody else is not in, if the other viewers that have one are not in here, I do have the picture of it and I can always send it, like go to the next person up. Um, I'll probably hold off on a week to make sure I get everybody's on there. Perfect, perfect. Nice big shrimp in there is all this right here. So I want to go over it. Damaris Riviera, how are you doing? So uh, by the way, my mother is an artist, she paints. So there's the discount code on here. 15% off, good till December 25th. At midnight. Jerry Shrimp Shack. And remember, guys, gift cards are like a vital. They're important. They're awesome. For those of you that have somebody that owns a tank or wants a tank or something, whatever, you can, I mean, minimum, I would say like you can get something nice with 20 bucks. Like you give me twenty bucks, I'm going to the pet store excited. I know I'm coming home with something, a plant. Ooh, 100%, something. 100 percent, one hundred percent. So hit up that discount. I mean, a fifty percent off discount for uh, Christmas stocking stuffer. One hundred percent. You can use it in the future too. Like if, if you just want to hop on top of it right now, it's so much easier just to get a discount code. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're if you're outside of Minnesota, I wouldn't send you a physical card just because when you go to checkout, you cannot use the credit card number for 
you, I don't know, you just can't. So what I would do is I would form a discount code um, with your name or whatever else, and that would be your your fifteen dollar or your fifteen percent. I just figure out what. Like if you bought a gift card for a hundred bucks, you know you're going to save fifteen fifteen percent on that one. Be eighty five. I'll just come up with the discount code for for that whatever. I know I figure it. Out. I do it all the time. Uh, some Silver Creek. So I'm just kind of, like I have to lean forward and everything else. But this is a great. This is a great one. We had at one point. I think it was like fifty eight people view fifty eight viewers. I love it. And so, I'm really terrible at finding the numbers and stuff because I'm still using my phone to film. Oh God. So my friend Bob, um, he sent me a picture. He called it Fat Boy Style. He's going to he's going to White Castle. Uh, we always get the same thing, and I, and it's the, the chicken rings with ooh yes. All right, I would definitely hang out with him. That's what my bags look like. So we get the whole entire little bag. I don't know. I think there's like twenty five sliders maybe, and yeah, then we get yes. So sliders, onion rings. Chicken rings and fries. Yeah, that's my little duo. I love the chicken sandwiches. So I always get at least two chicken sandwiches, but then I just do like the. I've never had them. Cheeseburger ones. Um, I have this thing where it's like, um, I can't eat onions. Uh, it's hard for me to digest and stuff. When it does, I become ill, and then it doesn't happen right now. But that's why my store was closed and stuff. But it long, long story, whatever. Um. So I ordered mine without onions, and they do the best they possibly can, but I don't mind. I scrape them off. And stuff. But I'm telling you this right now. I love them, but I'll be honest. Ugh, for me, <laughs> if you eat White Castle, be within a half hour of home. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. That's all I'm going to say. Is <laughs> be, half hour, be, be within a half hour home because stuff is going through. <laughs> I, I have to eat my White Castle like right there in the parking lot. Like I'm not eating in the White Castle because normally they're not. They're very God, sterile and comfortable. You got to get it. Yeah, so says, you have, have They a, don't travel well. They said we don't have a White Castle, but we have them in our store. I mean, you can do that, but it's just not the same. It's not the same. Um, no, everybody says, oh, yeah, pre-hangover food, 100%. Yeah, they're, they're, their grocery store game is strong. And, I mean, they, they work. It's possible, but they're not great. I mean, I can be honest with you. Everybody says, oh, my God, White Castle and some girls is it's not, believe it or not, it's not that's, a, that's a stereotype that people said White Castle. Oh my God, it's a dollar freaking burgers are nasty and stuff. Guess what? McDonald's and Lamar drove how Mc, long for White Castle? Mc, okay. Let's be honest. Like they put a bit of onions down. I'm, I'm gonna say how they do it. They have a flat top grill. They put a bed of onions down. They have this hamburger blend. I don't know the percentage. Someone did it on Facebook. It's a certain percentage. The holes that they put inside of them, those five trademark holes that's just so it cooks faster they put the oh, patties yeah. on top they then take the ha the hamburger buns and they set that on top it steams the onion the onion seasoning steams the burger gets this the hamburger bun nice and i'm i'm gonna probably go to white castle today. i'm craving it now um i know i know you're killing me right and then now. what they do is they take their metal spatula and they pick it up and that's how they make the the, the White Castle burgers. It's a hamburger blend. It's the same as like if you go to, so here's the thing. If you go to McDonald's and you go to Burger King, they're frozen patties. Like, hello? Oh, no. Listen, McDonald's has dropped the ball completely. Let's not even talk about that. Oh, it's just one of those things like you got to try White Castle one. This is one of those things. You do. I'm going to do the, the chicken. I haven't done the chicken. I've only stuck to the same thing. I do the meat, you know, with the onions, the cheese. That's it. 100%. So, oh my God. These, what is that? It's the hollow hey, I have a question. Have you ever used this plant right here? It's tissue culture and it, it's also from nature also the system. Go figure. <laughs> what is the. Uh, I'm trying Can we to see the name or no? I, I, well, I can't. You got to turn it to your. Turn it towards your thumb. Oh, towards my thumb. I, no, other way. Turn it towards your thumb. Other way. Turn it the other way. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Other way. You got to turn it there, Victoria. A little more. There we go. Perfect. Right there. Lobe Lobella Carnelis. Um, I don't think I've ever used that one. Hey, Logan's here. How are you doing? So if anybody needs drones and stuff, my buddy Logan is stopped here. He's a Vertex Unmanned. He's got a lot of different drones and everything. He's like, oh, damn. You're ever oh, we got the drone guy in the house. Yeah, he just stopped by right here. He owns a drone company. It's called Vertex Unmanned. Um, on, on it. So if you ever need a drone, he, you can always message me. He can me. show so, faith. The people want to see him. Oh, Logan. Come here. Logan, the people want to say hi. 
You gotta come here and say hi on the camera. You, you can't be you can't be the drone guy and not say hi. This is, this is Logan. <laughs> he has the he has the drone shop right down. He's a good friend of mine. He hi, also Logan. has a saltwater tank in his. You gotta cut the, your heads cut. Oh, uh, we're jealous. We're jealous. We're jealous. Salt water, he has a saltwater tank. He has a JBJ forty five gallon tank in his office. Nice he has a shrimp tank. But he decided to go for the Sahara Desert look instead. Yeah. So he let everything. What is that? Right How's that working out? Good. No, it, it's it's pretty barren. It's a Sahara Desert. It yeah. dried out. <laughs> You're being sarcastic. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, it seriously was completely dry. Not a drop of water in. There. Not a drop of water. <laughs> so what happened is like <laughs> as, the, as the water evaporated out, the freaking the parameters changed. The shrimp died in there, and then it was oh. basically it was boost. And some other plants, and, they, and then uh -huh. they decided, well, I'm going for the desert look, and everything kind of like yeah. dried out. But yeah. we're gonna get them set up. We were looking at different tanks. And everything. Desert look. We, we, we need something that's more. Automated. Hey, you might be able to get some really nice drone shots now, desert shots 100%. Yeah. So, I'm gonna do this, guys. We've been on for actually two hours. My store is gonna open up. I love you all very much. Please, all the winners, I have it all written down here. All the winners, please contact me. Victoria Lee creates. She's on TikTok. She's on YouTube. I'm gonna have the link Facebook. for all of them on Facebook. I'm gonna have the link. So I have YouTube on, down here, but I'm gonna have everything else on there. Uh, Monster Fish Gal, Lori, I love you. You're an awesome. Uh, message me. I'm gonna do something special for you too, um, uh, Lori. Message me because I want to get you something Christmas because you've been helping me out a lot for the whole entire year and stuff. So message me too, um, please, guys. Oh, if Monster you want Fish Gal, if you could send me her address, I want to send her something for Christmas. She's incredible. She does so much for all of us. 100%. Just Lori, message me because if you want me to message, I'm going to end up forgetting. All the winners, message me. Period. Just everybody who won, message me. Um, guys, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will catch you next Wednesday. And Victoria Lee is going to catch you next Wednesday as well. We're going to work on some thumbnails and stuff like this. I love you all. Have a fantastic day.